Hi, today we are going to do a post review on Make Market's Gingerbread Man. This is gingerbread. I think it's just called gingerbread. I don't even think it's called gingerbread man. But I'm calling it gingerbread man because <clears throat> I blinged up the gingerbread man. I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but I blinged it up. And I made this a cup of hot chocolate by blinging up whipped cream right there. What did I use? Oh, and there's more. You can see sparkles. I put some ABs and you can't really see it. Sorry, you can't really see the sparkle, but I can. <clears throat> I used Diamond Dots Freestyle number 5001, which is their AB. Let's see if you can see it. <clears throat> Man, okay, yeah, you can see it that way. I placed these scattered around. I put one here, 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 all right here, changed out the whites for that. Made the eyes and the mouth, the ABs. And then I used other pieces in the, the frame of the gingerbread. So, and the bow, I have since put those drills away. They came left over from another kit. So I just used them there. So this is a make market. And as you can see, the diamond dots drills and the other drills from, I think it's Brilliant, Brilliant Art. It was from my blessed and thankful canvas that I completed. Do fit in here just fine. So you can interchange drills, at least with the rounds so far you can. I'm about to try it with the squares on my three ghost canvas because today is October 21st and I have completed this and I'm still working on three ghosts by Make Market and it is a square canvas. And I am putting some Diamond Art Club square ABs in that canvas. And I'm also glittering it up with the glitter flakes from that you can find at Michael's. I don't remember the name of them. Anyway, we're going to I'm going to go over this. Okay, I started this October 11th and I finished this the 21st of October. It took me long because this was not my only project and this was just something I filled in the gap with the time. Yes, it's called gingerbread. So it did come with a number grid, uh, color schematic, but I didn't use it because it's simple enough. If you see a W, look for the W code, and those are the drills you use. These are my spare drills, good quality drills from the leftovers. They get put in a bag, so if any of the drills ever pop, I've got spares. And... This is my trash. Not a whole lot of trash. There were a few others that I didn't have the trash bag accessible. So I just tossed them, but there was maybe four more. So this is going to go right in, right on the back page. This kit was, was was fun to work on. I liked I liked blinging up the gingerbread man. He was he was kind of cool. Let's 
So this goes in there. That's my trash. Not a whole lot. So that's it for my book. That's what I put in my book. Now, this is a magnet frame, which I have put on. Let's see. Comes with four pieces, two for the bottom, two for the top. There we go. And I have put washi tape <clears throat> on the top and on the bottom. And you can hang it by the string. So this one is complete. This is my Make Market gingerbread. I am going to kit down Make Market. This is the box I used. And I put this piece of cardboard in there to tell me what these are for and these are all the leftover drills it's a lot these are other leftover drills from other make market kits i do store make market together because i do library events and when you're dealing with the public they don't always finish their craft because they're, they're beginners, so they're going to take their time, and that's perfectly all right. So I like to bring extra drill, drills in case they don't finish. We can put them in baggies, and they can take home extra drill, drills and continue their project at home. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is... I'm going by sight. One of the kits I got did have a DMC number. I don't remember which one it was, but they did have it. So I wrote it down. These do not. They did not have the DMC code. So I am going by sight. Okay, so we're going to go with... The browns first. It's kind of a purple. Okay, there was a lot of browns in this canvas. And then the ones I don't keep, I put in a jar that I'm saving for my niece. I feel like I'm doing a lot of rhyming, guys. And none of these match any of these colors. So they're going to be, I'm going to go through and I'll probably get rid of one of the darker ones. Because for some reason, okay, this one, this one's okay. One of them I mixed up. Yeah, I think it was this one. So they're going to go in the jar for my niece. But I do, I do try to keep some. As you can see, they go in these little containers. I do not have any more of these small rounds, so I might have to go get some more so I can keep make market spares in here. Because I use these for smaller kits to kit up in. This thing will hold up to 35 containers, 24 of these. And then you, it, you can add these small Tic Tac containers. And you can use these in your Diamond Art Club containers by placing them on the side or across the back. Because Diamond Art Club kits do have drills that only have a little bit. You don't need a whole big container for it. So these are perfect for those. So these... Oh, wait, I think we might have, we might have a winner here, guys. Nope. 
is actually a match in here, but these were the ones I'm going to get rid of because I mixed up two different colors. It worked out fine. You can't even tell on my picture, but you'll be able to see. There's two different color browns in there. So these are going to go in my jar for sure. So these will get a baggie. All right. So these have all been checked. Now we'll try the greens. A lot of different kinds of greens. And we have one, two, three greens in here. So let's see. Nope. Too dark. Maybe. Those two might go together. And this is a blue, Nancy. These two might go together. And these two might go together. So these two don't match anything. So they'll go in, into a baggie. This is going to go in the jar. Yep, these are the same. So what I do is... I pour these in there and because that has the number on it, I'll keep it in there and then I will take this off and put it there. All right, let me see this one. Let's see what it looks like with the covers off. Yep, those are the same colors. Oh yeah. Again, this has a number, 319. So that will stay there. And that will go where the trash is. That'll go there. Let's see this one. Nope, these are not the same color. This one is lighter than this one. Sometimes you can't tell with the covers on, so you gotta open them. So that's gonna go there. And I like this color green, so I'm gonna save him. He's gonna get a baggie. All right, the whites and off whites. This is kind of a yellow, but there are none and because those three all kind of look alike, I'm going to probably keep, I'm, I'm probably going to keep them all and put them in baggies. They looks like there's enough worth keeping. So I'll put them in baggies because I have more make market kits in my stash. So they'll probably work. Let's try these bright, pretty oranges. Don't see any bright oranges. Well, yellows. Nope, these two are completely different. And that's different. And here's another brown. That's the different color brown. Different. That could be the same. So these I'm going to keep just because I like the colors. So let's see. I think I found another another like color. Yeah, those are the same. Yeah, sometimes if you put a flashlight directly on it, you can tell, and these are the same. I have dumped them together before and then found out later that they were not the same. 
it's no big deal because these are spare drills anyway. And if I come across a need, I can always pick through it and find the correct color. So pink, this one doesn't have a number, but we keep them separated. Those are the only three pinks. So I think, no, no, definitely not. Definitely not. No, this one's lighter. Okay. I like that pink. And guys, this is, I kind of like doing this. So, ah, oh, these look very close. I'm thinking they're not. No, they're like a shade off. This is, this one's lighter than this one. So. <laughs> no wonder. Guys, did you tell me in the comments? These are from the same kit. <laughs> That's funny. But let me look again at these. I keep these I'm thinking might be the same. No, I don't think they are. I'm hesitating, so I'm not going to mix them. And this doesn't have any kind of markings on it. <clears throat> okay. Again. Okay, this one obviously is not going to be the same. Hmm. That's very bright. That's very different. It's another very bright. Another very bright. Come on, guys. What are you doing? And these drills are so nice. And household noise. That's a little Chi Chi. You guys remember Chi Chi? Yeah, she's uh she's a little noisy sometimes. That is this is the same and I don't see Yeah. This very different. Nope. None of the others are going to be close. So, the bills will go there. And since we're keeping these, these guys will just go in there. And then these, I will go through and see which ones I'm going to dump in the jar for my niece and which ones I am not. <laughs> so because I'm having an event, we are going to be doing the Mandela's. Let's move that up there. The Mandela's. We're going to be working on these for the event next Tuesday. Here are the drills for them. I haven't kitted them up yet. 
And here are the containers. So I want to get that replaced with that one. I prefer using this than those with the public. All right. Oh, and here's another little guy. I'm going to replace that one with that one. That worked out great. So these are all going to be used for these. And I already have one kitted up. And these are going to be in another container like in well they'll be in this container and this container will go on one table and the other one that I have kitted up will go on the other table so but if you want to look at the colors And I don't mix them before I do the canvas. I mix them after because the shades could be a little bit off, as we all know. And these are Make Market Drills for the Mandela Minis. And that's going to be on Tuesday. I'm doing that event. So I got to kit this all up so that there can be two complete sets, one on each table, because there'll be two tables. There'll be 10 participants. And so the other Mandela's to this kit are in their box. I just kept it there so I knew what these were. So that is that. So there is gingerbread. I hope you are getting started on your Christmas shopping because before you know it, Thanksgiving will be here and then Christmas will be here and you'll be out of time. Have a good weekend or week, depending on when this video goes up. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and put a comment in there so I know you're there. Thank you. Bye.